What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're playing the... Well, you read it. We're playing a little hope. Hell yeah. Fucking love games like this. I would play Man of Medan, but... I kind of watched someone play it, so... There kind of be no point. If you know any games like this, like where your decisions... Control the outcome and shit... Let me know, because I love these types of games. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just do all that. What is that? Play with my friends. <laughs> I ain't got friends. Fuck out of here. Fuck you thinking. No idea what this game's about. I saw... I saw it come out the other day. And I was like... I'm gonna play that. Uh, what? Yeah, no shit. Uh, fuck. Yeah, I've just avoided anything that involved this game whatsoever. So I wouldn't get spoiled for me. I have seen on the internet like one, one jump scare. Don't know when it is or anything like that. Hoping. Considering how Resident Evil went, I'll probably piss my pants a little bit at one point, maybe come a little. By the way, I won't make this like an hour long, like I did every other horror game I played. I'll try and keep it probably about 10 to 20 minutes, I hope. So yeah. Little detour, eh? Run the bitch over. Fuck him, dude. We ain't got time for a detour. Can I choose to run him over? That should be hilarious. Where the fuck you think you're going at this hour? Thanks for pulling over. Oh, oh, oh hold on. There we go. Sure. Something wrong? I just like subtitles on my play problem, games for some reason. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. Ooh, is the name of the game, bro? You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. I'm just a little hard, honestly. Yeah, fine. Historic town. I've way. never heard of it. It's fine. Just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, John. Could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Hell yeah, bro. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see out here. How many people died? That's what I need to know. That was a bear. Okay, well, I clicked it. Nothing happened. Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Fuck Come you, on, bitch. Sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Yeah. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after ten beers. Goddamn Reverend right. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Fam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this You're not is the me? only one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. <gasps> God damn, just fuck him a little bit and you'll be fine. Crack open a brewski, baby. You deserve it. Women are nothing but bitches and whores. Tanya's late. She always is these days. It's 
give her a break. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. God damn it, this is why I get to be in a fucking sim. Cult. <clears throat> he came <sighs> last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like hey, it. it's bushy bro. Mm. Eyebrows. Quit pawing at will ya? Holy <laughs> fuck, speaking of eyebrows. If I have the opportunity to kill you, I'm going to. Maybe you should try knocking first. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days. Getting predictable. Oh, like yep. a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the ten millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> Imagine being a dick. Hey! Hi. Not now, sis. I'm busy. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! Why'd you Jesus. put that music like that? Jesus. You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. She's a little psycho bitch, isn't she? The hell's that the key to? The sex dungeon? Who wears a sweater inside, bro? Give me a slipknot sweatshirt. I'll wear that. About to put one on. My room's cold as fuck. Okay. Now what? I, I don't know. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I got this. Oh yeah, baby. Right back to Brian Watson. He pulls in his black bike. He's gonna be up now. <clears throat> you need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. Yeah. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Quit yelling for a couple of minutes. House could use some quiet. It's been nice. Oh my, what the no fuck? <laughs> Not another <laughs> What the, the fuck, fuck was that? enough without your two cents. It's all the noise about anyway. Just checking in with Tanya and Megan. <laughs> Good luck with that. Megan's a handful. Okay. It's locked. Why? Where the hell are you? Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. Hey, if that was locked. You don't answer me. She about to lock me out. You could be right about my family. So too. Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing.
I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Oh. Shit! Megan! You in there? Break the damn door down, dumbass. That ain't not. The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? So you get for making tea. Megan! Dad's gonna burn alive. Where's that the bus driver? Jump, you stupid bitch. There's snow. You'll be fine. He's gonna jump out the window. That bitch, she's old enough. Man, fuck the old girl, bro. Honestly. This is her fault. Anthony! Help! What should I do? Jump, you stupid ass. Find another drain pipe. Get to the drain pipe and climb down! Hey, where's uh, where's Dennis at, bro? <laughs> oh shit! There he is. He's not gonna be the only survivor. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ, dude. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna go back. See what happens if I choose to save Megan. Eventually.
not gonna lie, dude. That shit fucking bopped. Here we go. That's what I'm afraid of. Hello. Hi. And welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No. No matter. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator. The guardian of all these wonderful stories. Yeah. Oh, well. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. For me to tell, eh? How about you just use electricity, dumbass? Hmm. <laughs> Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Thank you. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. That's exactly what I like. The fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. Okay. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Ooh! Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? Alright, you know my fuck that little girl. to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. Yes. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless, and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts? Yep. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you? Hopefully, well, I got necrophilia. On the that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head? No. Or your heart? Neither. There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best, and sometimes the other. My advice, for what it's worth, is to thine own self be true. Gotcha. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Thank you. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. Okay. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I owe a funeral. <laughs> Me too, I got necrophilia. Okay, this is where I'm going to end part one. See you in the next one. Later.